Okay, my van is currently living inside my tiny home in my living room. All of this stuff came out whenever I went to go install my shelf with my dad. And now I need to start figuring some of this out because, well, Riley's going to be here in a couple days and there's no place to sit. This task is a two-part job. For one, I need to reclaim my space for my tiny home, which I have some projects I need to finish before I hit the road, but also I need to get organized the rest of the way so I can hit the road and not be stressed out. Taking everything out of my van always has kind of like this mind numbing effect to it because then I have to figure out where everything goes again, what I'm taking with me, what I'm not taking with me. If things like this are things that I absolutely have to have in duplicate because apparently I have duplicates of some things. And so now is the time to do that. But I found something that's gonna help me organize some of the smaller things and I ordered it off at Amazon and it came in today. So I'm about to find out if this will solve that issue. I just got out of bed and had a package, so it is what it is. This, this right here. Um, if this works out, this is gonna solve all the tiny things that came out of my van that were on shelves. And I may still be able to use the shelves, but this way I don't feel like overwhelmed with figuring out where things go. And this is something that I had something similar to previously in my van. So I think it's gonna work, but let's open it up. Okay, inside this box. Oh yeah, this is gonna be good. I found this package to be something of great interest whenever I was browsing around on Amazon and it has multiple pieces to it. In fact, in total, there are six pieces. This is a tactical seat cover, which I think this is the biggest piece of it. All of these smaller things will attach to this and it will all go onto the back of my driver's side seat. I think this is gonna be a good solution because there's a lot of little compartments that I can put things in to kind of keep things in order and that'll keep things from just floating around in the van. Now, in my first van setup, I had a cover on the back that could hold things. But the problem with that was that it didn't really conceal all the things that I needed to conceal. And so I need things to be enclosed because that keeps them from flying around. And some of those were just open pockets. And it worked out great until I had to put my fridge there and it no longer could fit. So I'm hoping that this solves a lot of problems and because I no longer have something that has to sit directly up against that seat, it's going to give me a lot of options for storage. So this is what they all look like out of their pouches. And the reason why I was kind of looking at something with tactical gear was because these all pop off and then you can secure them so that it locks it into place. So it's not just like a Velcro thing that just sticks onto something, it actually locks into place and I can maneuver them in a variety of different positions. And I liked the fact that there were different sizes because I have different things that could go in these. And so this is the base that goes onto the actual seat right here and it locks in on the headrest and then around the back of it. And this has all of these little compartments that I can use in addition to the areas that it can lock into with these little spaces like this. So again, tactical. And so they gave me a couple options. I could either get the desert sand, the green or a black. I figured that the green would go best with the interior of my van. And so I went with this. Just for reference, it's a little off, but it's not so far off that it's gonna be a big deal, but it kind of keeps my theme going through. And it gives me something a little bit more durable than what I had previous which was just like a thing that you put on for like baby stuff. With that said, this one was quite a bit more expensive than the one that I got at Walmart for the baby stuff, but it also has a lot more options that I can use. So now it's time for me to figure out how big these storage bags are and what can fit inside of them. Ooh, I'm already liking this. So this comes over to lock everything in place on this one. And it can also serve as a handlebar. So I could carry this bag separate if I want to, but then Inside, there's more of these areas that I can stick things in. There are so many different compartments and pockets. Let's see, one, two on the top, and then there are two on the sides. These are sizable. This is pretty decent in size, in fact. And then in the back, there's a strap here. Can I use this as like a fanny pack too? That would be crazy good. Huh, so that could serve a multi-function. Didn't even think about that part. I wasn't even under the impression that these were going to have quite as many pockets. So this is so good. It also has Velcro 
that can be placed on them or taken off so that it makes it easier to get to. You can take all of these and attach them to the fanny pack, it looks like, as well. I am so excited right now. And then whenever you're using it, this back part of like the medical kit, it comes off with the Velcro, but then you can strap it into place so that it holds it and then you secure it with these. So this is, this is very handy. I am gonna go ahead and open this one up though, I think, to see how much room that there truly is in here. This is a nice size pouch. This is very nice actually. Oh, oh, that's good. That has tons of storage area. And it also has some other little loops and hangers and things like that that can latch on and hold on to things. So even though I have a really nice medical kit, which is red, and typically I like to use that, I could also use this, or if I decide to use this as a regular pouch, I can just take this off. But if it is in the back and it looks like this, people will know it's a medical supply kit. So that is cool. Okay, I have a lot of thoughts right now. I have so many thoughts. And those thoughts are all like, hey, oh, this opens up so many possibilities for storage. I want to put my makeup in one of these potentially, some of my camera gear that typically just kind of floats around and gets moved constantly. So I'm gonna see if there's enough room to do that. And if there is, that would solve so many issues. And then I could also have one of these be like my bathroom kit so I can just grab and go maybe. I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. Okay, it's about time for me to change up my skincare again. So I am going to leave a few things and add a few things. I'm gonna go ahead and also downsize some of the items packaging that I have. So like this, for example, I love this face wash. I always take it with me, but normally I've been carrying it in just like one of those little temporary tubes or in a bigger bottle, but I have these refillable tubes. And so I'm kind of like letting it drip down into the refillable tube. So it takes up a little bit less room. I always restock my items when I can. I was purchasing this face wash in the smaller bottles, but I found that with the little plastic bottles, sometimes you couldn't get to that last little bit, so you wasted product. So I might as well at least use this kind of bottle where I can use every single ounce that's in here. Speaking of those skincare items, I actually changed out a few things. I had been using castor oil, and I'm still gonna continue using that here at my base camp, but for now, my skin has been needing a little bit more something that I could wear in the mornings also, and I don't like to put castor oil on my face, so I'm gonna change it out for this, which is a weightless water cream. I can put this on in the morning after I wash my face. It'll just give me a lot more hydration, and then I can also add this to my evening routine for the time being. I've said many times before, I change out my products when it comes to my skincare so my skin doesn't get acclimated. I've been using the castor oil for a while, and so now it's time for me to switch it up, and I need that extra bit of moisture in my skin in the mornings because it's that wintry time where it's just oh so dry outside. So I'm definitely going to have something I can apply in the morning as well as in the evening. And I don't wanna carry around two products. I'm trying to downsize just a little bit. So this one is a good one. I've been testing it out kind of as a morning and then an evening and seeing if it makes my skin feel good and look nice and it is. So I'm going to go with this one for just a little while. And then when summer comes around, I'll go back to my castor oil because typically I don't have to put as much moisturizer on in the morning that's like gonna seep in and keep going so uh that that's a win-win I think this is gonna be good I do need to figure out what I'm gonna put some more makeup rounds in because I need them to go in here and I don't want to just shove them into the side pocket on this side so I'm trying to figure out what I want to put them in and then I'm also going to be taking this lip scrub with me because this lip scrub is something that during the winter time saves my lips so much damage. In fact, I usually exfoliate my lips and then put on a good lip mask every single evening. It just keeps my lips from getting as cracked. Uh, once I get a crack in my lips, it's not far from it just going out of hand and me looking crazy. Okay, this is the skincare bag. It has all of my nighttime and my daytime stuff and it's all filled and this is the size of this. And then it has these four little clips on here so I can put it on in just a few moments. I also found a reusable container, like a little reusable bag, and I was able to put my makeup cotton rounds in there. So that part is all tucked up in here also. Now I am trying to figure out which one of these might be able to hold my toothbrush and my 
Listerine, I may have to reduce the size of this container too. Normally I have a few little travel ones, but I've gone through those and I just picked up this one because this would last me a while. The problem is that now I have to figure out how to fit it in something. And it's just kind of an odd size. It might work in here. Okay, I went looking in my restock stuff and I did find that I have two of these. So I'm gonna go ahead and use these two instead of the bigger one. And what I'll do is I'll go ahead and make sure that they're both filled all the way. Okay, I'm gonna keep working on this for a little while and get all of these different bags filled in with the items that I need. But overall, these are gonna be the bags that I can access, but it also hides things away. And then I'm gonna go mount this and get started in the van in just a little bit after I put on some other clothes. It's always interesting whenever I'm sorting through my items and trying to figure out where it makes the most sense for me to put them. Some of the things that I have really struggled with over time is figuring out where to put some of these smaller items. And normally they sit on my second shelf in my van because I don't know where else to put them. But now that's not an option because that's where my food goes. So this is gonna be a good option for me to put those things out of the way, but also where I can get to them when I need them. But when I don't need them, they can be, again, out of the way. This was a great investment. The quality of this is so good. I mean, check this out. The zippers each have these nice, good grips and they have a nice little welded seam on them. They zip very easily. The toggles on these are also very good. They have spring-loaded toggles. These are all elastic, so they stretch really well. And then the Velcro on this is a thick, good, good kind of velcro it's not like the flimsy stuff like some of the ones that i've seen at like walmart on the back these little extra straps i mean i can strap this to just about anything i want to and the buttons on here they have a double reinforced button area so it's even kind of hard to pop them open because they're so strong but if i decided i needed to remove these i could just pull these out or i could also change the way that they are set in here Ugh. Again, the buttons are very stiff because they're brand new. Okay, so I came up to the van to go ahead and start to install this. And it shouldn't be too hard. This part goes around this, and then this one goes around the back of the seat. And they just have these little clips, so I should be able to clip these in pretty easily. Can't stand in the van, of course, because it's short, so I'm going to be using my knees. This is the hard part of having a short van. When your knees are down on the ground and it's that corrugated stuff, it kind of hurts a little bit, but that's okay. I'm gonna get this finished anyway. So, a good squat will start me off here. And then this part goes around. This could be a little bit more difficult. Okay, now I'm gonna start on this one and I'm gonna undo each one of these little fastens so that I can put this one onto the backing. That should be pretty easy. Okay, so now I have to figure out where I want to put this. And I think this one's going to go really well up here. So I believe all I have to do is just feed it in to these. If I can get one of these, maybe I'll be able to get the others a little easier. The only downside to doing it this way with it's already full is the fact that it's a little heavier. So moving my hands around is a little harder to do. So down we go through the wild blue yonder and in place. So this is what it looks like and I can always tighten this up a little bit more if I need to or up here and so I'm going to go ahead and start working on filling up those other compartments but all in all I think this is a really good start to organizing the van in a unique way and this doesn't sit out super far so unlike something that would be a shelf or something that would get in the way this is going to be high enough off of the ground that it doesn't interfere with my bed and it will be close enough to the seat that it doesn't impair me from being able to get in and out of this door which is awesome so i can still use this area right here to like sit here if i want to sit here and have my awning popped out on this side now comes the hard part figuring out what all goes in what and that's going to take a while and i'm just going to have to be okay with that in the meantime though i think i'm going to start on some of these other projects that i have and uh, see if i can get a little further along i think that ultimately each step is a step in the right direction and so even though this is 
a lot of time, energy, and effort to get everything kind of perfect. Finding meaningful solutions like this are really helpful because they allow me to have less things just out and about in the van, which tends to be a little chaotic because I have such a small space. I also think that um, I'm going to have to take some care of myself before I get going. I'm getting a little wooly and crazy and I was kind of putting it off until the last minute, but the last minute is now here. so. I think I'm going to take some time to put myself together, finish this project over here, and uh, keep working on the van. But remember guys, we're not here for a long time, but we are here for a good time. You'll see this guy in full effect as I'm going down the road. Again, this was a great Amazon purchase. And I definitely would encourage you guys, if you're looking for some storage for your back seat, instead of spending like $10 or $15 or even $20 at Walmart on one of the baby ones, just go on Amazon, pick up a tactical one, it is a much better quality and also it has all of these little compartments and zippers which can in fact fully close which means that if I'm going down the bumpy roads, guess what? My stuff's going to stay in place. <laughs> Until next time guys. Bye!